guys, uh, Nate Richards here from Richards Guitar Studio, and uh, today's featured riff is Live on Dead by Slayer from their uh, South of Heaven album. And um, the tabs are linked to YouTube and our blog. Uh, the original recording is a half step down, but I'm going to play it in standard tuning. Um, but uh, if you're going to play along with them, you'd want to put your guitar in half, in half step. E flat tuning. So uh, I'll play the, the first two riffs. That's that's what I have tabbed out for you, and then give you some pointers on it. <laughs> chords and then a, a few um, not so common chords found in rock music um, and I'll show you what they are. So you have an E5 power chord, a couple of palm muted uh, 16th notes, E flat 5, and then you have this uh, two, two 16th note um, uh, palm muted E's and then a triplet hammer on pull off. Right into a D5 chord. So that's a little tricky to get. Uh, sometimes I'll use my pinky, jumping back and forth between the chords. Sometimes I'll go with my ring finger there on the chord. Um, either way, you want to do your pinky on the hammer on, but uh, the next chord, however you want to play it, you know, whatever works for you. Then you have a major third. Perfect fourth. You can either do this fingering. I like doing that one because the next time around you kind of have to do that fingering. Or you could do two and one and then a bar. Alright, so that part. one is all the same except for at the very end there you have the major third and then you have a diminished fifth so that's uh it's called a diabolus in musica it's uh, the devil in music it's kind of an odd sounding chord but uh it's it's what they use all right riff that, I, that I'm going to show you um, is the articulation. You want to really make sure that there's a definite difference between your chord accents and the palm muted um, chugging notes. All right? um, you want to make sure that the palm mute is pretty heavy and there's a, a very clear mark between the two all right? so that you can cleanly hear those, uh, those accents and then the, uh, the palm mutes. So. Alright, so you don't want it to be... You know, kind of muddy like that. All right. The next one is uh, it's a little more difficult. It's a great exercise for what's called inside the string picking. And that's where your pick plays down on a higher string and then up on a lower string. You could practice down up from the A string to the low E string like this. A, E. stuck inside the strings and that's because it is. Um, the challenge here is accenting the note on the A string with a down and then up, down, up with a palm mute on the low E string. Up, down, Again, like I 
like I said before, you want to make a definite distinction between that um, accented note and then the palm muted notes. All right? And the alternate picking technique doesn't help it any because it's, it's a hard technique to do at that speed. <laughs> Ensemble, and that's another example of that back and forth between two strings, all, um, accenting one string and palm muting another. I, I think I have the notes right there, but I, I haven't checked. Um, so one more time through the riff, and uh, I'll slow it down just a little bit. And, um, and use the tabs and watch out for your articulation. <laughs> So have fun with that one.